It is day two out here tapping trees. And I really thought that after yesterday, it was going to be nicer outside. I knew it was supposed to be colder than it was yesterday, but I was not expecting to get all this snow. So it is snowing pretty good. Woke up this morning, shoulders were sore. Legs felt pretty good because I've been walking through snow, you know, for the past couple weeks here. But my shoulders are just not used to lifting, you know, carrying a drill the whole time, then lifting your arms up over your head in order to tap into the tree. So shoulders are a little sore, but can't complain, just gotta keep working. So these vines that you see right here that are growing up the trees, these are horrible. We tried to cut them off. Um, it's kind of a pain to walk back here with a chainsaw. So I actually usually bring a hand, a little hand saw, cut them down so they're not strangling the tree. Well, now it gets broke off. What nightmares are made of vines. <sighs> Things can be really dangerous too, so I try not to pull them too much unless they're small. I need like one of those battery powered carving knives like that people use on ham. Do they make those? But I need it small, like a handheld one. little hand saw I use. It's a, uh, who's it by? Hooey Man? I don't even know if I said that right, but that's who it's by. I actually have three of these, all different brands, but this by far is my favorite brand. <laughs> Typically our maple trees get anywhere between one to three taps. Three is the absolute max, and that is when it's a giant tree. So I'm tapping today. This year we actually, I think Warren uh, did this. I think he spray painted all of our tools so they're all orange. So we know exactly which ones are ours and they're easier to find if we lose them. Um, this is the drill I use. We use a battery drill and this is a precision tapper. I actually get a lot of questions about this. So this is a precision tapper. It has some prongs on the end to help stabilize it on the tree to reduce wobble with the drill and we have it set to drill in two inches deep. If it's a smaller tree, we'll go in an inch and a half. We use our best judgment on a tree by tree basis. And when you're tapping the spout into the tree, you will actually hear the difference in sound. So you wanna just gently tap it in, give it some little love taps, if you will. 
but you want to make sure it's snug. So you don't want to pound it hard enough to split the tree, but you want to make sure it's just nice and snug in the tree. I get a lot of questions about what causes line damage. So right here is one of our drop lines. These were just put on yesterday. And look at that, it's already chewed up. So a lot of wildlife chew the lines, squirrel, deer, chipmunks. And then we also get tree damage as well from fallen trees that just pull the lines down and break them apart. I am running low on drop lines. So I called an Uber, figured I'd have them deliver to me. So I don't have to walk all the way out of the woods to go uh, pick up what I need. My Uber delivery <laughs> and cookies. I can't eat those. Why? I'm being healthy. Oh, thank you. This is why it's never as simple as just walking through and tapping trees or putting out drop lines. So you'll always run into something. So this was someone forgot to put a drop on here. And so I have some in my bag, carry some with me. I carry tools in my bag, carry pretty much everything minus the chainsaw. So any problems that I come across, I typically can fix it unless it involves a chainsaw, then I need to call my dad or my brother. This line was completely buried for a good section here. And I don't even want to tell you how long it took me to unbury it. What made it so hard is the snow's deep. Then yesterday, the snow started melting, which gave it a couple, like an inch or so of just a thick layer of ice. That was, so it was snow on top, then a thick layer of ice, and then more snow. So it took me forever. What's your favorite season? Summer. <laughs> You're supposed to say maple. Warns down at the bottom of the ravine, and I'm just above him, on the side hill of it, currently.